These next problems are about squares and square roots. And if this is new to you, when you have a little two here um, sort of raised up as a superscript and to the right of a number, that means it's, it's that number squared or that number times itself. So if you saw two squared, that is two times two or four. If you saw nine squared, that would be nine times nine or 81. So in this problem, we have 3 squared plus 4 squared. Well, 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9, plus 4 squared, which is 4 times 4, or 16. 9, 9 plus 16 equals 25. So that is our answer. Let's look at the next one. We have 0.6 squared. So this really is 0.6 times 0.6. And if you were to plug that into your calculator, you'd get 0.36. Let's just do the multiplication here. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 0 is 0 plus 3. There's our, our 3, 6. The rest of it's going to be zeros. And we've got 1, 2 places behind the decimal point. So 1, 2 places behind the decimal point. Either way you do it, it's going to come out as 0.36. Now, a square root, which is this guy, this little weird-looking symbol, this says the square root of 25. Well, the square root of something is the opposite of squaring. So if 5 squared, which equals 5 times 5, equals 25, then if you go backwards, you're taking the square root. So when you go this way, you're squaring. When you go this way, you're taking the square root. So the square root of 25 is going to be 5. So the square root really gives you the number that would multiply by itself to get whatever is underneath this sign. So the square root of 25 is 5 because 5 times 5 is 25. Same thing for square root of 36. You have to ask yourself what times itself equals 36. And hopefully if your multiplication facts come back to you, you'll remember 6 times 6 is 36. So the square root of 36 is 6. So that's a little bit about squares and square roots.